Can glaucoma be prevented? While macular degeneration may take the lead as the cause of vision loss in America, glaucoma is definitely in second place. The good news is that while there is almost nothing that can be done about macular degeneration, there is hope for those suffering from glaucoma, or those at risk for developing glaucoma. Glaucoma is actually a group of diseases which are caused when high pressure within the eye results in optic nerve damage. Think of the optic nerve as a large cable made up of thousands of small wires. Each of these small wires carries images from your retina to your brain. Built up pressure can damage these small wires causing blind spots to develop in your vision. If glaucoma is not diagnosed and treated it can lead to blindness in both eyes. Most common types of glaucoma, primary glaucoma, primary glaucoma is the most common and often sneaks up on people. There are two main categories of primary glaucoma. Open angle glaucoma, open angle glaucoma is the more common of the two. It is caused by the drainage canal being slowly blocked over time. It is often detected by your eye doctor during routine exams. Closed angle glaucoma, closed angle glaucoma is also known as acute glaucoma. It's characterized by blurred vision and acute pain in the eye. This form is less common, but does not have the gradual buildup that open angle glaucoma does. Childhood glaucoma, also known as congenital glaucoma. This is a rare form and is usually diagnosed in children before they reach one year of age. It's caused by problems in the development of the drainage canals before birth. A silent thief. Glaucoma is such a gradual loss of sight that many people do not even realize that they have a problem until extensive damage has been done. According to Prevent Blindness America, risk factors for developing glaucoma include family history. People with parent or other relatives who have had glaucoma are more likely to develop the disease. Age, people over the age of 40 have a higher risk of developing glaucoma. Diabetes, people suffering from diabetes are at a higher risk. Race, an African and or Afro-Caribbean heritage raises your risk by 4 to 5 times the levels of other races. It's also more likely to be developed at an early age. Eye injury, eye injuries or surgery can increase your risk of secondary glaucoma. Steroid use, extended use of steroids may increase the risk of developing glaucoma. Myopia, people who are extremely nearsighted are at greater risk of developing glaucoma. Recent medical advances have lowered the risk of losing your sight if you have glaucoma. New techniques are now available to diagnose and treat the disease. Treatment and prevention of glaucoma. There are steps that you can take to prevent the onset of glaucoma, especially in high-risk patients. Aerobic exercises and a diet that is low in saturated fats can help to prevent the eye problems that cause glaucoma. While lowering your intake of saturated fats is a good first step, it is also important that you add foods to your diet that contain the vitamins and nutrients that benefit your eyes. Changing your diet has a twofold benefit for your health. It will provide the vitamins and minerals you need for healthy eyes and those same vitamins are great for the rest of your body as well. While high eye pressure is not always linked to high blood pressure the connection still remains. Your eyes depend on blood flow just as the rest of your body does. One way to control high blood pressure is to change your diet and exercise. A healthy diet that is low in saturated fats found in red meat and dairy products can help to prevent glaucoma. Use vegetable oils when necessary many of them also include the healthy fat omega-3. A diet high in vegetables and fish and chicken offers the best results. However, many people just don't have the time to eat as much as a truly healthy diet requires. Many of us skip breakfast, grab lunch on the run, and may only actually sit down to eat our dinner. For people with a fast-paced lifestyle an eye vitamin or eye supplement may be the best option. Many studies have been done that show adding vitamin supplements to your diet can lower your risk of developing glaucoma. Regular exercise can help to lower blood pressure and may help to reduce high eye pressure as well. Before starting on an exercise program talk to your medical professional. They can help you determine what exercises you should start with and how often you should exercise. For some people it is necessary to start out slowly and build up an exercise program over time. Your eye doctor can be your best friend. Anyone over 35 should talk to their doctor about tests to measure eye pressure. If you have any of the risk factors discussed talk to your doctor about scheduling eye exams on a more frequent basis. Discuss your concerns with your eye doctor, there may be new methods of testing and treatment. Remember that just because a treatment or program works for your friend it does not necessarily mean that it will work as well for you. 
Your doctor is the best resource you can have for what steps you should take. Everyone reacts differently to treatments, UI doctor can help you to find the best possible treatment for your condition. Natural Ways to Bring Down Eye Pressure If you've been diagnosed with glaucoma or high pressure in your eyes, you're not alone. Glaucoma is, unfortunately, a very common eye disease that affects the aging population. Untreated, glaucoma can lead to blindness, it is, in fact, the second leading cause of worldwide blindness. It's a condition that must be taken seriously as it is progressive and worsens with age. Even if you haven't yet been diagnosed with glaucoma, you should take the time to learn more about glaucoma if you are diabetic, have a family history of glaucoma or have pre-existing vision problems. Don't take unnecessary risks with your eyesight. As we age, we expect to have some difficulty with our vision. Many people don't realize that the problems they are having with their vision are not simply a normal result of aging. Glaucoma can sneak up on people because some of the symptoms are difficult to spot. Even people who have never had a vision problem should begin to have regular eye exams after age 40. Make sure that you tell your eye doctor all the changes you may have noticed in your vision. They can only help if they know there is a problem. There are a few steps you can take on your own to improve or prevent glaucoma if you are diagnosed with it. What is glaucoma? First things first, what causes glaucoma? Just like we can have high blood pressure, we can have high eye pressure. Glaucoma is usually caused by elevated or high intraocular eye pressure. This high amount of pressure damages the optic nerves and leads to the main symptoms, such as a loss of peripheral vision, a glaucoma. Folks most at risk for developing glaucoma include People who are over the age of 40, as we age our eyes age as well glaucoma is most often diagnosed in people over the age of 40. People who have a family history of glaucoma, as with many other illnesses, if members of your immediate family suffer from glaucoma, there is a higher chance that you may also be at risk. Diabetics People who already suffer from nearsightedness or farsightedness, existing vision problems can weaken the eyes making it more likely that you will have problems with glaucoma as you age. A very common symptom of glaucoma, one that often goes unrecognized at first, is a loss of peripheral vision, this can be dangerous when driving. Blurred vision, seeing halos, eye pain and headaches are also symptoms although they do vary from person to person. It's always wise to seek out medical counsel when you're experiencing any new health issue. Talk to your eye doctor before starting any new treatments. What can you do about glaucoma? Now that we know what causes glaucoma, what can we do about it? Although some of the risk factors above are unavoidable, it is possible to reduce your eye pressure naturally. These are simple, common sense, suggestions that can make a big difference in the way your eyes age. The first step on the path to lowering your eye pressure naturally is to lower your insulin levels. Insulin can cause your eye pressure to increase so it's wise to avoid sugary and carbohydrate heavy foods such as sodas, starches, sweets and breads. A change in your diet can make a big difference in, not only your eye health, but your overall health as well. Isn't it worth giving up some of the foods you love in order to protect your vision? Because exercise can help you lower your eye pressure, it's a good idea to start incorporating some low-impact exercise into your daily routine. Go for a walk, take a swim or hop on your bike and do your eyes, and your heart, a good deed. If you don't have the time or a safe place to walk, consider a treadmill machine either in your home or the local gym. Walking in the fresh air is of course the best option but it is not always possible for everyone. Just as you reduce stress to reduce your blood pressure, you should try reducing stress in order to reduce your eye pressure as elevated levels of stress have been linked with elevated eye pressure. Physicians report that stress is a rising concern for people in all types of jobs. People fight stress in many different ways. Some proven methods are deep breathing exercises, yoga, walking, or even spending time with your family. Find the stress reliever that works the best with your lifestyle. Finally, eat a healthy diet. Nutrients like vitamin C, E and A, as well as fatty acids and minerals, can all be helped to protect your important optic nerve. Cutting back on sugars and carbohydrates is a good beginning but there are actually foods that can help your eyes to function better. Many of the vitamins and minerals that your eyes need can be found in a well-balanced diet. Diets that are high in leafy green vegetables are recommended because of the vitamins they contain. Many of us struggle with maintaining a healthy diet. 
if your daily life is too hectic to allow for well-balanced meals or if you just don't know how to prepare the food you should be eating, you may want to consider purchasing vitamins for eye health that will supplement your eye's nutrition needs. These simple lifestyle changes can really help you reduce your eye pressure. Remember that when you take care of your body, you reap the benefits tenfold. Many of the things that your physician has been telling you to do for your overall health are probably similar to our suggestions. After all your eyes are an important part of your body, it makes sense that what is good for your body would also be good for your eyes. Take the time to take care of your eyes. Don't miss seeing what the future holds.